Welcome to the video review of Transformers Robots in Disguise Destructicon Bludgeon. Now, Destructicon Bludgeon, along with Destructicon Sur Scourge, were KB Toys exclusives. Now, if you're watching this video and wondering what the heck KB Toys is, well, it doesn't exist anymore. It used to be a toy store that primarily existed in malls. Back when I was a kid in the 80s, there were several uh, KB Toy stores in the Baltimore area along with several Toys R Us's. So they were, at one time, a major competitor for Toys R Us, but since then they've gone downhill, and well, now they don't exist anymore, unfortunately. But at the time, in 2003, when this guy was released, uh, he was a KB Toys exclusive. The mode, is, the mode we see here is an homage to the original Generations 2 Megatron figure. Uh, Bludgeon here is just colored in yellow and green because those are his colors as opposed to Megatron. And it also has one of the the weird, uh, you pound the little air reserve here and it shoots a missile, which are stored right here on the arms. So we'll go ahead and take off a missile and fold that up. Uh, there are in vehicle mode, as you could see, well, as you can see in vehicle mode, Bludgeon is a tank and modeled after the Gen 2 uh, Megatron figure. There are a few uh, minor issues with this mode. Uh, first of all, there's nothing holding these arms in place. They don't slide down, they just flop around and move around as you touch the figure. And the missiles, as you saw, were pegged in, or actually just kind of held in to these clamps by uh, friction, and they move around, they fall out and pop out way too easily. But other than that, it's not too bad. The figure is one of those figures that you have your little air bladder here, and you pound the air bladder and it shoots the missile. The one thing you need to be very careful of is, you see how the cannon barrel is flat on one part? Well, the missiles are too, and if you don't slide it on just right, you're not going to be able to get it on. So the air bladder does actually connect to the back of the cannon, so I'll just give it a little... As you can see, that doesn't really go very far. You can angle it up, but there's no point because as you angle it up, it's supposed to ratchet, but the teeth actually don't touch each other. And if you ratchet it or you move it up too much, you're actually going to constrict the air for the uh, for the air bladder. So you really don't get much oomph out of that thing. Figure does come with two missiles and a gun. So we'll go ahead and get into the transformation. And if you've ever transformed G2 Megatron, it's pretty much the same thing. So the transformation, as I said, is exactly the same as G2 Megatron. Fold the uh, part of the turrets down to form the arms. Take the legs, rotate them out, rotate them down, and fold them out like that. Move the cannon over, flip the head up, and just turn the arms such that you've got arms. Um, major issue right off the bat with this figure when I opened it years and years ago. And one of the things that drives me crazy is there's nothing locking this figure into place, uh, especially here. You feel a little bit of a, uh, of a friction spring, but there's really nothing holding it there. It just flops around and it'll, it'll detach at the slightest whim. And there's nothing really holding or any place to plug the air bladder into on the back except right there. So you've got this giant air bladder hanging off and the figure is horrifically top heavy. And that's another problem with it being so top heavy. There are no heels on this figure to deploy to make him, I don't know, just not fall over. So you can get it so he doesn't fall, so he does not fall over but it is a little bit tricky. You can also store the missiles on the robot mode in the same clamp areas, which is officially part of, according to the directions, his attack mode, which is just stupid because I don't know about you, but holding giant incendiary or, or nuclear missiles on your arms is not the smartest thing in the world. 
Now, as you can see, he does have Megatron's face. So this tells me that this figure was originally supposed to be a Megatron, and that is correct. This is a repaint of a Generation 2 figure that was a Megatron figure. In fact, the Scourge is a repaint of, the, of an Optimus figure. So, overall, this figure is okay. It's not bad. It has some issues with Top Heavy, but once you get him stabilized, he does look pretty cool. And I dig the green and yellow look. Now, you would... Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want a tank colored in bright yellow. But, for a toy, it works fine. And as I said, he looks pretty menacing with the two, um, with, in his quote-unquote attack mode. But, I would only pick him up for maybe a few dollars. If you see him at a yard sale for a buck or two, yeah, he's worth a buck or two. Or on eBay or online somewhere, but I wouldn't, do not spend full retail price. Don't even bother looking for him unless you absolutely have to have him. Because overall, he's, he's only just okay. 